Today I'm going to be doing my demonstration speech on how to change a tire. First thing you want to do is get your supplies that came with your car, like your jack and your uh, tire iron. And then before jacking your car up, you want to loosen the lug nuts. Just loosen them with your bar. Here. You want to go left because that loosens them. If they squeak like that, that's pretty normal. So once you got them all loose, then you can jack it up so it, it can spin and then you can take it off with a different wrench. So depending on the jack that your car has, it'll be all different. Mine's pretty easy. Get it up so you're tire can spin. It's not up far enough yet. Okay, now it's free from the ground. And you can take a three-quarter inch socket or whatever you want to use to loosen the bolts quickly another way. So then you got your lug nuts out. Depending on what uh, rim you have, there will be different different numbers of lug, lug nuts. Mine has five. Then you should be able to take your tire out. If it doesn't come out, just jack it up farther. Farther away from the cement floor. Then once you have it off, you can inspect inside here a little bit more, see if your brake calipers are right and if your brakes are working well. Sometimes the, this brake caliper squeaks and you gotta get them changed. And then this tire isn't flat obviously, so I'm just gonna put this one right back on. If you would have had a spare tire or something in your trunk if you were on the side of a road or something. Line them up with the pegs again. That's probably the trickiest part of getting it on there. And then start your lug nuts again. Back onto the peg. You want to make sure you tighten your lug nuts equally all the way around so one's not tighter than the other and then your tire will be crooked. Okay, so I got all started again. 
so then I can just go in a pattern like this to make sure they're all tightened equally. And this now you gotta turn that right to tighten it. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Sometimes it'll get stuck on the lug nut. Just keep going until you can see that the tires suck clear into the caliper. And once you have them on with a wrench like that, then you can go back to your tire iron and tighten them in. Tighten them up harder than they were so that you can make sure they're tight. But now you're going to have to lower your tire again so it can't spin and you can get more leverage. So lower it on the ground. All the way down to the ground again. Now it can't spin so I can tighten them. Make sure to go right though. Generally you're going to want to use a torque wrench and then it'll click when they're at the tight, tightness as you need them, tightness that you need them. But I don't know, a lot of, I don't use a torque wrench a lot. I just trust me these things. As long as they're tight, it tires should go anywhere. And use that same pattern, just making sure they're all on there equally. So there it is. Successfully changed the tire in five minutes or less.